world shake Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. This is Safa2 back at it again y'all with another amazing video here today for the channel. So today's video you guys can tell by the title we talk about the top five things people don't like in modern warfare. And I know this sounds pretty crazy. We're talking about five things already that people don't like about the game and the game hasn't even been fully released in you know like gameplay wise and or has been released at all. And we're already talking about five things here that people don't like about the game. So the first three things here on this list are just minor things that I think that a general people won't like. The first one here though is not that big of a deal. Honestly, it really isn't. It doesn't affect the gameplay. It doesn't affect anything. And none of these really does affect the gameplay in any sense. In like total gameplay or how the game will play. So, you know, none of that is going to be a major factor. When the game does actually come out, I'll probably do another top five things people don't like about the game. Or top ten, depending on how much things I can actually pull from the game when it actually does come out. But the game has not come out yet, and I can only talk about these things that I already have about the game. And so, with that in mind, let's break into this top five list today. So the first thing on the number here, which is coming in at number five, is just Modern Warfare. Now, I know this sounds pretty crazy that, you know, this is actually a thing um, that people don't like about the game. And basically, what they're complaining about is that it's just called Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Which is kind of crazy because in my head I'm thinking it should be the fourth one in the game, but it also does make sense that it's a um, spin-off or a um, what should we call it a um, uh, a soft reboot of the franchise or of the Modern Warfare franchise anyway. You know, it just has characters in some general connection to the older series, just not a major connection. You know, for example, like this could be its own game name and series. Technically, it just has characters from the previous series. That's the only difference I'm um, in all reality. But a lot of people have been complaining about this um, just because of that. And I also think that they should have been looking at this beforehand because when they are going to make a remaster of this game for the PS5 or whatever console in the future, you know, because they always usually will, um, is that there's already a Modern, War a Modern Warfare Remastered. So what are they going to name this one? Call of Duty 2019 Call of Duty Remastered? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of insane that they weren't thinking about that beforehand. But, you know, it it's whatever, honestly. Um, I don't think that this is going to have that big of a future or impact on this right now. Um, so... It really doesn't make a big of a difference. Honestly, I'm not complaining about it. I think it actually kind of deserves its name since it is kind of based in 2019 from what we've heard. So that is pretty cool. But, you know, whatever. With that out of the way, let's roll into number four. So coming in at number four, guys, like, as I said, is a minor detail. And that is the leaning is coming back to multiplayer from what we've heard from Infinity War. That leaning will be coming back as a playable feature and so will sliding. Um, I don't have a big thing with sliding. Honestly, I think sliding is a kind of a cool feature compared to dolphin diving. More realistic, of course. Um, but I think leaning just reminds me to the days of Call of Duty Ghosts where people would camp in buildings, in two-story buildings with a thermal site and suppressor on LMGs. And that's all they did all day was sit on their ass in one room with an IED behind them leaning all day all day long and never moving like those big flat slobs of Jimmy no thumbs playing in their mom's basement camping their asses off 24 7 while they play Call of Duty because that's the only thing they're good at in their lives is playing Call of Duty and camping and saying that is the best way to play Call of Duty even though it is not and honestly is a bullshit way to play with the leaning feature I don't have a problem with leaning, I'm just saying that I don't want that to happen again like it was in Call of Duty Ghosts, even though it's bound to happen. I'm, it's bringing back all the horrible memories of people leaning with an LMG with thermal sight on it in Call of Duty Ghosts. All of those bad memories, but honestly I think leaning is also a good feature in a sense that people actually don't abuse this feature in camp all day. It gives them an advantage on the playing field when they have to, you know, look over a corner or look over a corner to get a gun advantage when they're running and gunning. but I hate it when people use this feature just to camp all day and make that an excuse to camp all day long and head glitch 24-7, you know, because they have no lives and they're just fat slobs. But, you know, I don't 
have any massive complaints. I just think it's going to be bringing a lot of horrible memories back to lots of people's heads. But, you know, it's whatever. I think since this is a more quote-unquote realistic game, it would add a nice touch into that kind of spectrum. Um, but, you know, it's whatever. You know, whatever. It's always going to be a thing. Always will be. So, let's go. So, coming in at number three is also another thing that doesn't play a major effect on the gameplay but from what we've heard from a couple sources i hope it's not true is that this game is going to have no mini map since this game is going to be more realistic and not going to have a mini map um i hope this is not true i hope this is just a rumor um honestly because i think you know people already in call of duty ghost complaining about how the uav was not a uav in that game imagine this game with the no mini map i mean people back then were literally shitting themselves and complaining a ton that there was no uav and just a little mini poor piece of shit satcom that you had to place at least two down to get the full uav spectrum to the game unless you're playing free for all i mean imagine what people complain about with no mini map imagine then you know I, I i can't wait for those complaints to come around i really can't i can't wait for it uh, there'll be people complaining about it but i hope it's just a nasty rumor that is not true because i think the minimap does play a vital role into any fps shooter you know whether it be battlefield call of duty or you know any of those fps games it kind of does play a really big part into it you know so you know where the fuck you're going unless you know the maps by heart you know playing 24 7 every day you know but you know it's whatever so let's get into number two so number two is that people mainly xbox players and complaining that the ps4 is still going to get all the new content first it was confirmed in a couple of commercials that playstation 4 was having with the modern warfare commercials um i liked how a lot of people at the beginning of the game since you know when the leaks were first coming out this game was going to have no exclusive content to ps4 or xbox and then i waited and i saw a commercial a week later and saying at the end of commercial saying play new content first on ps4 and i'm like nice job leaks leakers you really did a number on that one um, mainly this is xbox players but you know they don't remember that back in the day of the ps3 and xbox 360 that Xbox players got all of the content 30 days earlier than PlayStation 3. And now they're complaining about it now. Just welcome to the club. That's how we felt. I mean, we actually never really complained about it, honestly. At that time, you know, the not that many people were complaining about that feature because every Call of Duty sweaty nerd and Call of Duty fanboy all owned an Xbox 360 because, you know, they all had to play the new content first, you know, to get views on youtube and whatever you know so it really wasn't that big of a deal but now since everybody is now a kind of a mixture of all the consoles they're now complaining about it you know but you know whatever whatever guys i, I really didn't mind it honestly personally i really didn't mind the, the, the dlc packs days earlier because i could just play one game and get the easter egg done or whatever within 30 seconds you know the, the game loading or whatever you know it wasn't that big of a deal no, I didn't have to wait, you know, pretty much a week or three days to wait for them to actually figure out the Easter egg or whatever. But, you know, whatever. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, I guess. And honestly, I don't really think they should be complaining because right now they're only getting it a week later. You know, a week later isn't that bad. Hopefully, that's what they're going to be doing for the new content first here is a week or maybe two weeks, you know, first exclusive content. But I'm not 100% sure about that yet um and nobody actually is confirmed about that part yet either so we'll wait for that one to come around and let's get into number one so number one is a not really a big deal since it is confirmed but i am just having my personal touches on it and that is that cross play is now going to be officially confirmed in modern warfare now i don't mind a cross play i'm not saying it's a bad feature i think a couple games do need cross play like fortnite etc all those games need it but i think that I don't want to be playing crossplay all the time because now whenever I get into my lobbies, this is all I'm going to be hearing back and forth for three to four hours in my headset is, you play on PlayStation 4, you're such an asshole, bitch, etc. And then this guy's going to be saying, well, you're playing Xbox, so you're an asshole, bitch, poor ass bitch. You see what I'm going here? That's all I'm going to hear in the, in the lobbies for an hour long now. And I don't want to be hearing that for an hour long. And I think they should have it where Black Ops 4 multiplayer has it, where they have the featured lobbies where it gives you, you know, you know, Team Deathmatch, Kill Confirmed, and Domination. 
mosh pit together, you know, with random teams. But if you want to play with friends, you can go just play Domination by itself or Team Deathmatch by itself or whatever, you know, vice versa. I think they should also have that with crossplay where they should have a feature where if you want to have crossplay or you don't want to have crossplay. And that should be a feature because I think that with crossplay coming out, we're going to have a lot of issues with internet, Wi Fi, servers, and it's just going to be a complete total mess. And if you think people are already complaining about the servers now in Black Ops 4, imagine the servers in Modern Warfare with the crossplay coming together. But, you know, it's whatever. I just think that in Infinity Ward, if you are listening, make that a feature in Modern Warfare like you did in Modern Warfare 2, where people were complaining about how it was lagging. Being, or in Modern Warfare 3 that it was lagging, you know, because, you know, the theater mode was always recording. And they added a feature where you could turn the theater recording off so that it wouldn't lag your game. Make that available in this game as well, where you can have crossplay or you don't want to have crossplay. Because honestly, I'll be playing without crossplay because crossplay is not that big of a deal with me. All of my friends have PlayStations anyway, or most of my friends have both con both consoles. So it's not really that big of a deal. You know, of course, one friend may not have the DLCs on this console or the other, but personally, I don't think it's a big thing, honestly. You know, whatever, just make that availability to have crossplay or not to have crossplay. So yeah, those are the top five things that people don't like about Modern Warfare that it has not even been released. But we're going to be coming in with a sixth one here for a bonus for you guys. And that is that COD points are coming back. And you know, since we're having no season pass, all map packs will be free. And that if you bought either the most expensive edition of the Digital Deluxe Edition, the second most expensive edition, or if you bought the two real life editions and the most expensive, you got the customization specialists or packs, you know, whatever, the War Pig pack, the Ghillie Suit pack, and the um, Crew Expendable pack. And, you know, with those coming back, you know, those features, I, a lot of people are like, well, this game is being infested with COD points, and honestly, I'm afraid of that too, because, yikes, if you think the supply drops in Black Ops 4 are bad, imagine Modern Warfare, you know, is going to give them a big excuse to release half of the content that they should be giving us for free. And supply drops but anyway you know whatever that we will have to hope and pray for the best but you know that's the top five things that people don't like about modern warfare with a six bonus in there for you guys tell me in the comment section below what you think of pros and cons for crossplay tell me also what you want to think about the cod points feature coming back into modern warfare what do you think will happen there and if you are new to the channel hit that like button subscribe Hit the notification icon to get notified whenever I, I upload a new video. And also, I'll be doing a top 5 things that people do like about Modern Warfare. That video will be coming out soon, so keep an eye out for that one. And if you want to get notified whenever I do upload that video, hit that bell hit that bell notification icon. Hit that bell notification icon to get notified when I do upload that video. So check your emails, check whatever on your phone, whatever. Check it. You know, double check it, triple check it, you know, and wait for that video to come out. And anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.